There are three listening exercises. You must do it honestly and correctly. Mr. Arif suggests that you must do it honestly, it will increase your listening skill especially. If you do not understand, you can repeat it until you understand the conversation. Remember, don't cheat. So Daniel, I heard you went on a vacation. Where did you go? Yeah, I went to Taiwan. Oh, sounds interesting. What did you do? Well, I did a lot of things. Uh, it's a really interesting place. Um, I saw a lot of culture. I saw a lot of history. Uh, I went to beautiful places. Um, they have like really, really beautiful nature. Everything was really, really good. How was the food? Well, the food in Taiwan is amazing. You wouldn't believe how good it is. Everything tastes amazingly. And the good thing about it, it's, it's really, really cheap. I see. Who did you go with? I went with a Taiwanese friend. So that was really good because I cannot speak Mandarin. Um, and my friend helped me a lot with all the food and, and that was really good because I, I, I really appreciated that. How long did you go for? It was uh, about eight days and I think it was more than enough to get like a quick view of, of the whole island. It was really nice to go from Taipei in the north to some cities in the south. I think I, I got a really good impression of what Taiwan is. Why did you go to Taiwan? Well, I'm really interested in Asia and Asian cultures. Uh, and since it's really um, far from my background, uh, I really want to get to know better all those cultures. And since for many Western people are quite the same, I really want to find out those differences. And that's why I chose Taiwan. I see. So Daniel, I heard you went on a vacation. Where did you go? Yeah, I went to Taiwan. Oh, sounds interesting. What did you do? Well, I did a lot of things. Uh, it's a really interesting place. Um, I saw a lot of culture. I saw a lot of history. Uh, I went to beautiful places. Um, they have like really, really beautiful nature. Everything was really, really good. How was the food? Well, the food in Taiwan is amazing. You wouldn't believe how good it is. Everything tastes amazingly. And the good thing about it, it's, it's really, really cheap. I see. Who did you go with? I went with a Taiwanese friend. So that was really good because I cannot speak Mandarin. Um, and my friend helped me a lot with all the food. And, and that was really good because I, I, I really appreciated that. How long did you go for? It was uh, about eight days. And I think it was more than enough to get like a quick view of, of the whole island. It was really nice to go from Taipei in the north to some cities in the south. I think I, I got a really good impression of what Taiwan is. Why did you go to Taiwan? Well, I'm really interested in Asia and Asian cultures. Uh, and since it's really um, far from my background, I, I really want to get to know better all those cultures and since for many western people are quite the same i really want to find out those differences and that's why i chose taiwan i see so you're from a big family aren't you sorry Yes, um, I have five brothers. Uh, they're all younger than I, and um, I'm the only uh, girl the in the house. Yeah, girl, all younger than you. Yes, 
I am 27 and the youngest is six years old. He's just gone to first grade right now. That's an incredible age span, isn't it? Yes, that's right. But a busy mother. Yes, yeah. She's, um, she had me when she was 17 years old. So she's still very young. And um, even though I didn't have any sisters, she was so close in age that I felt like she was like my sister. Right. Mm. So being the only girl didn't really, you didn't feel anything well, odd about I, that? Mm, I always um, tried my mom's dresses and her shoes and I wanted to be like her. But, you know, most of the time I was spending with my brothers and um, I remember it was it was very hectic. Um, it was like a zoo. And I remember he, one time when my brother was chasing me with a big knife. <laughs> wow. And I closed the door and the knife was stuck in the door. <laughs> <laughs> so having loads of brothers, did it make you like more boyish than girlish? Definitely. Yeah. And, and I like that. Um, I feel very comfortable around boys or m male than females. I Even growing up, I had more male friends than female friends. Mm. Mm. Did you never kind of pine or crave for that, for that sister? You know, not really. No, no. Um, I wanted a big brother, actually. And... Um, I really enjoyed the presence of boys. You just don't have to worry about um, anything. You can just speak and be honest. And um, whenever we got together with uh, my girlfriends, um, I had to be more concerned about their feelings. And um, I actually don't like that very much. Mm. Mm. I'm not like you, though. I'm from a really small family. I've just got my sister. I grew up with my sister. Mm -hmm. And I did feel like I could speak to her about mo most things i think i didn't i don't feel like i had to restrict myself from sharing certain things mm, i think it also depends on at certain age when you're younger there's a that time where you're always fighting and then you grow older and then you have families and then you have more things in common and the relationship changes throughout your life mm. What I find really interesting about myself and my sister, I think we're, we're really, really different. But there's something about us that is, makes us really, really similar. And I can't quite put my finger on it. Mm -hmm. But it's like, yeah, it's like our humor is the same. We might laugh at the same thing. Mm -hmm. or And even now as we're older, like I don't feel like we particularly have many similar interests or much in common but we can still speak to each other and there's definitely that sense of family connection mm -hmm. so you're from a big family aren't you Sadi? yes um i have five brothers uh they're all younger than i and um i'm the only a uh, girl young in the house, yeah. Girl, all younger than you? Yes, I am 27 and the youngest is six years old. He's just gone to first grade right now. That's an incredible age span, isn't it? Yes, that's right. But a busy mother. Yes, yeah. She's. Um, she had me when she was 17 years old. So she's still very young and... Um, even though I didn't have any sisters, she was so close in age that I felt like she was like my sister. Right. Mm. So being the only girl didn't really, you didn't feel anything well, odd about I, that? Mm, I always um, tried my mom's dresses and her shoes and I wanted to be like her. But, you know, most of the time I was spending with my brothers and um, I remember it was... It was very hectic. Um, it was like a zoo. And I remember he, one time when my brother was chasing me with a big knife. <laughs> wow. And I closed the door and the knife was stuck in the door. <laughs> <laughs> so having loads of brothers, did it make you like more boyish than girlish? 
definitely, yeah, and and I like that.、Um, I feel very comfortable around boys or male than females. I even growing up, I had more male friends than female friends. Mm. Mm. Did you never kind of pine or crave for that, for that sister? You know, not really. No, no.、Um, I wanted a big brother actually, and、um, I really enjoyed the presence of boys. You just don't have to worry about、um, anything. You can just speak and be honest and.、Um, Whenever we got together with、uh, my girlfriends,、um, I had to be more concerned about their feelings, and、um, I actually don't like that very much.、Mm. Mm. I'm not like you, though. I'm from a really small family. I've just got my sister. I grew up with my sister,、mm-hmm. and I did feel like I could speak to her about mo- most things. I think I didn't. I don't feel like I had to restrict. Myself from sharing certain things.、Mm, I think it also depends on, at certain age when you're younger, there's a, that time where you're always fighting, and then you grow older, and then you have families, and then you have more things in common, and the relationship changes throughout your life.、Mm. What I find really interesting about myself and my sister, I think we're we're really really different, but. There's something about us that is, makes us really, really similar, and I can't quite put my finger on it.、Mm-hmm. But it's like, yeah, it's like our humour is the same. We might laugh at the same thing,、mm-hmm. or and even now as we're older, like I don't feel like we particularly have many similar interests or much in common, but we can still speak to each other, and there's definitely that. Sense of family connection.、Mm-hmm. Uh, Eukarya, why don't we talk about what is our favorite Shakespeare plays, and actually, what is the story about? Um. Okay, I love the story of Romeo and Juliet. I know I'm a girl. Um. <laughs> Which is a tragedy. It's about、um, a boy and a girl who fall in love, but unfortunately, their families are sworn enemies of each other, and it ends up with both of them killing e- themselves. So it's quite a sad play. So the, that's a tragedy, right? That's a tragedy. I also like Hamlet.、Um, Hamlet, the play opens, and we. We see Hamlet talking to the ghost of his father, and the ghost t- explains to Hamlet that he was killed by his brother, who has now become Hamlet's stepfather, because he married、um, Hamlet's mother. So Hamlet has to avenge his father by killing his stepfather slash uncle.、Um, and. Hamlet procrastinates throughout the play. He keeps on putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. And at the end, because he's put it off, the situation just gets worse and worse and worse. And the reason I like Hamlet is I'm exactly the, the same. I procrastinate <laughs> if I don't want to do something. For example, if I don't want to correct homework. My apartment gets cleaned. My car gets cleaned. <laughs> I clean out the computer. I'm like Hamlet,、um, <laughs> but eventually I do correct the homework.、Um, You're、I'm, not going to go kill your uncle or anything. Like <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no. All right, just checking. <laughs> no, no, nothing like that. I could kill some of the <laughs> journals that I get sometimes, but <laughs> the homework. But、um, I also love Shakespeare's comedies because they they have this timeless quality. They're funny now and they're funny to many different cultures. Even though humor is a culturally related issue, but、um, I think Shakespearean comedy, like 
they are accessible to all. I like the taming of the shrew and mm, um, I don't know if you remember a, an American soap opera called Moonlighting yeah, yeah. with Bruce Willis and Sybil Shepherd, and they did a version of the taming of the shrew and I saw it when I was a child and I thought wow that's a really funny funny story for that particular soap opera and then when I went to junior high school and senior high school um, I realized that oh it's a Shakespeare play so um, I really like that I really like um, A Midsummer's Night's Dream um, I'm not sure if I can tell the story anymore <laughs> um, and I remember in school I had to study the sonnets and I really liked them, which surprised me because I'm not a big poetry person. Mm. But I really found Shakespeare accessible.